We'll go ahead and get started again. Reminder to silence your cell phones and then give your name and affiliation for asking a question. We're joined by Stanford's Jessica Allister and then uh, players Nigeri Kennedy and Elena Vauder. Um, we'll start off with a statement from uh, Jessica and then we'll do player questions. They'll be dismissed and then questions back to Jessica. So do you have a statement? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> what an aw awesome atmosphere uh, and a great game. Um, you know, you see it on TV, you see all of the improvements they've made and the atmosphere that we've created here in Oklahoma City. Um, and it looks amazing. And then stepping on the field, um, it, was, it was a great day. So obviously, wish the result was a little bit better. Thought we um, had our opportunities there. Uh, but really proud of the two women to my right. I thought they were exceptional um, in the circle. And I thought we had some really, gr really gritty at bats um, and excited to get um, back on the field tomorrow. So this one hurts a little bit. Uh, we think we had our opportunities. Um, but really, really proud of this group um, and really proud of the women to my right. All right, we'll start up with player questions, anybody? Okay, Ryan. Front row right, Ryan. Ryan Haber from the Oklahoma. And, uh, Nigel, uh, I wanted to ask you about that, that fifth inning and the way that uh, things came together there. You know, from your perspective, what, what happened there? Was it just sort of getting worn down and then finally getting some, some good uh, – Swings on you, or, or what? Uh, what's your assessment of that? Um, yeah, I think she saw a good pitch and hit it. Honestly, um, I the all I can do is throw each pitch um, to the best of my abilities, and um, yeah, I think she just saw a good pitch. Okay, we'll go to third row left here. Uh, Nick Alvarez, AL.com. For Alana, I recognize you guys are trying to get through this game and before you start preparing, but you will be playing Alabama. You did beat them twice in the regional last year. Every year is different, but what if anything does that familiarity help? And have you seen any of Alabama this season? Yeah, I mean, I think from a scouting perspective, like we faced the hitters before, we kind of can, I mean, some of us, not Nigel, but the rest of us can kind of remember um, what we threw kind of each batter there. But, yeah, like you said, completely different lineup. Um, so just trying to go out there and give them our best game. All right, good. Eli on the second row, right? Eli Letterman, Tulsa World. Nigel, I asked you yesterday what it would feel like to pitch here, and you said you couldn't know yet. Um, but today to do it in front of, I think, more than 12,000 people, what was the experience like to, to pitch the way you did in front of that crowd for the first time? Um, yeah, I thought it was amazing, like I said. Um, I, I didn't know what to expect going in, but the atmosphere was incredible. And um, like I said yesterday, I had, I had no clue what to expect at first, but um, to be able to play in front of this crowd, it was, um, it was something unbelievable. Any more questions for players? Uh, Dave Wilson, ESPN.com, for Nigel. The, Coach Gasso said that you, she thought you were the hardest throwing, you know, the most ball movement from a freshman that she's ever had. Do you take any confidence away from this game, even though you're disappointed in the loss? How, you know, how do you move forward from this? Yeah, um, I feel like definitely going back on film, um, trying to see, like, where I could be better. But um, each game's a learning experience. It's, it can only get better from here. So I'm excited to make the adjustments needed and get back at it tomorrow. Any more player questions? No? Okay. I guess players, you can go ahead and link. Oh, that way? I think yeah. they went. That way. Oh, oh they're going to stuff. Okay, we'll do questions for Jessica now. Jenny, second row. Jessica, Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma. And obviously, you got great pitching out of your, your two today. But Jordy Ball, um, what she did, can you just kind of assess how difficult she was for you all to handle? Yeah, you know, obviously, she threw a great game. Uh, I thought we had our opportunities. You know, when I looked down at the stat sheet, seven left on base. I thought we had the right hitters up at the right time. Uh, and... Um, just didn't necessarily come away with it. So I thought she got tough in big situations, got some huge strikeouts. Um, but, you know, I, I thought we had our opportunities. Right here, third row. Nick Alvarez, AL.com. Similar question to the other players. Different Alabama team, but you guys finding each other again. It's kind of, what about that matchup? Is it exciting for fans, and what do you guys have to look out for? Uh, we'll go back to the hotel and start working on it. You know, that was far from anything that we have um, really started preparing for yet. Uh, obviously, once you get to this level, every team that you play is going to be um, a great team. So I think exciting for fans is just the level of softball that's going to be played um, in this stadium throughout the week. But we'll get back to the hotel, um, get a little bit of food, and then uh, get to work, getting ready for Alabama. A quick follow-up. 
just on Montana, not necessarily as a offense trying to figure her out, but just kind of what can you say about just her impact on the game and just kind of this the image she's kind of created and kind of helped support. Yeah, I just I I don't know that um, you can be much tougher. Uh, she's a really easy um, player, you know, to admire. Uh, I was impressed with the performance that she put on at our regional uh, in Tuscaloosa last year, the amount of pitches that she threw in a short amount of time, um, and the grittiness with which, with which she did it uh, was impressive. Uh, and then to see, you know, kind of what the last month has looked like. Um, she obviously uh, is incredibly tough and also um, handles herself with grace and seems to um, really take care of her teammates. So, you know, I think there's a lot of women in this game who are wonderful role models. Uh, it's one of the things that, you know, makes our sport really, really special. Um, and this tournament is not short on those. Any more questions for Jessica? Coach Justin McLeod, extra inning softball. Um, two aces really on your staff. Can you just walk me through the decision to start Nyjah and bring in a landing relief? I know it had to be a tough one. It's always a tough one. Um, yeah, we, we spent a lot of time on it, um, if I'm being honest with you. And we went back and forth, and there are some reasons, um, different reasons to do different things. Um, you know, Nigel's spectacular against right-handed hitters. And when you're looking at Oklahoma's lineup, um, you, you know that you're probably going to split the game. Um, and we're fortunate to be able to have pitchers that can, that can uh, play off each other very well. Uh, but they're, they're righty-heavy, and they usually have seven righties in the lineup. Um, I think coming into the game... Nyjah's batting average, average against with the righties was 0 .083, 0 .063, something like that. So, you know, we're going to give her that opportunity. Uh, and I'm going to pick her um, over uh, against a righty heavy lineup, you know, all day. The lefty stacked together uh, we knew was going to be um, an important part of the lineup. Uh, and that proved to be true. Um, but we thought it was a good matchup um, for Nyjah. And, I mean, she was phenomenal. You know, I think we're right. I think the first hit to left, I think that's the ball you got to take a chance on. You know, I think we can catch that ball if we go for it. You want to win games like this, you got to take those chances. Um, but I just thought Nigel was incredible. Um, and then AB was um, tough as nails coming in in relief. Any more questions? We'll wrap it up unless you maybe have anything else you want to add. No? No. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jessica.